Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline. A moment and we will begin. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. A moment of reflection. And thinking of all that has happened this day, we come before the Lord and we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work, and to their labour, until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it, you open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his work.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night, they will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hand, O Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia, sorry. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hide me, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. Father, we thank you that we can remember loved ones lost with sadness and with happiness. And we thank you for the ability to remember, for the remembrance that is our communion, the bread and the wine, for the remembrance that is our communion with those who have gone. For our remembrance of those this night who are on our hearts and minds. And Father, we thank you for Livy and for the fact that she rode in the coronation yesterday. A young soldier who knows your love, your life, our prayers. Serving the king of this nation. May she know and learn to serve the King of all creation. Father, we lift to you all those who this day will be returning home with the memories of having marched, played, stood on guard, ridden, flown over the top, and kept security down below the skies. Father, we thank you for all who serve in our forces. We thank you for our king and his consort. We thank you that yesterday we saw the king stand, as did his mother 70 years ago, and say, I've come not to be served, but to serve the king of kings. Father God, we thank you, we bless you, that you taking flesh, going to the cross, dying, rising, have reconciled us to the Godhead, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So we lift to you the people on our hearts and minds, the places, the things, the situations. 
in the silence hear our prayers we pray And wherever we are, whenever we hear these prayers, and I'm sorry that I'm so tired tonight, we pray that you would visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. May your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you. O Christ. And may the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you for being with us tonight, or whenever you do this service. May you find God's peace and blessing. And Maureen, thank you for sharing Libby's news. What a great honour, what a great privilege, what a wonderful thing to have been and done. Take care, my lovely. Sleep well. Be blessed. <laughs>